Yes, welcome to RimWorld. Destruction, everybody. Round of applause for destruction. Which, outside of this context, is a very strange thing to say. Hello, welcome to RimWorld. Where yesterday I built a big useless wall and felt pretty bad about it by the time that the episode ended. So today, we're going to build a wall, but this time... A smaller, more compact, neater, and all-round nicer wall. Obviously, we're keeping the old wall. The old wall is still going to do a, do a good job. Well done, wall. I've also put some other defenses around the walls. Turrets, sandbags, that type of thing. When a pirate raid turns up at, say, 3 a.m. and Fat Larry is rudely woken up in his bed that's all the way over here, there is no way in hell he is going to get from there to there before the pirates do. Fat Larry needs three to five business days just to consider moving. Also probably doesn't help. The more I look, the more bloody holes in the wall I find. Here's the other plan. Plan B, Mark II. We build a wall across here. We bulldoze all of these walls down. We turn this, this building into one big workroom. We build a new residential building with bedrooms, bathrooms, whatever else. Maybe up here? That way, at least, if they do get raided, they can get to this wall and this wall pretty fast. It's, it's just kind of 50% of the time when the raids come from the other angles. We're a little bit fucked. Hear me out. Two residential areas. Oh... We put one up here and one over here. I've never done anything like this before, and I'm not sure I like it. Yeah, if we build, like, a, a house down here and a house up here. Like, a house for five people, a house for four people. Hang on, how many have we got? Ten. Pretty sure that's divisible by two. Like I was saying, if we build a house for five people down here and a house for five people up here, that way we can kind of divide and conquer a little bit. And more importantly, we can leave the kitchen just in the center here. They can come eat and do whatever it is that they've got to do. I hate it. We're actually building a proper, real village in RimWorld. And not just a massive block of, well, mostly furniture, to be honest. <laughs> Before I plan that out, the plan for the second wall is, is I kind of want to make it two blocks thick. So there's ample room to move around. Something like this. This is just a plan. I'll probably end up forbidding it straight afterwards. If we do something like this around the whole thing, obviously it's going to be, again, thousands and thousands of slate blocks. There's going to be weird sorts of terrain in the way as well. If we do that, at least that way, if they break the first wall down, they've got a second wall to go through. And then we could go for a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh wall as well. <laughs> and then I've finally achieved my dream of concreting over the whole bloody rainforest. So I think we want to build kind of in this area, right, for for a decently large house. What I think I need to do is is build, do, do the kind of usual trick, build a bedroom, plan a bathroom, give them all what they need to, uh, to live their life, and then clone it out. Hang on. Whoa. Stop. Maybe we don't even need a kitchen. Think about it here. We've got Project Room Factory Light. Now, the light version doesn't include any machines. It's just conveyor belts, but it does have storage. I assume, because it has storage, it has the digital storage. Thornsworth. Oh, my God, it does. Okay, then. In that case, we can have their meals sent straight to their bedrooms, and they can just eat in their bedrooms. We put a table in there, too. Genius. That's going to be our outer wall, in theory. Our outer, outer wall. No, our inner outer wall. You know what I'm trying to say. And then we need an inner, inner outer wall, which is going to go roughly here. That, let's assume that's a bedroom, right? So how much furniture have we actually got to stick in here? That's probably worth throwing in, like, dub side gene. It does add a little bit of difficulty. Like, don't get me wrong. It, I, I do like it as a mod, because I think it just gives you so much more furniture and shit to play around with. And mood boost, if you do it properly. But we do have to kind of plan out much larger bedrooms. Uh, right, okay, so... Fucking hell, look at this damn furniture. <laughs> <laughs> well, Larry, I've got to ask, what the hell are you doing for that to be a problem? These stunning two-room apartments now available from Legal Lees, Legal Bees, including locally sourced teak herringbone floors, a lovely wooden bath. Oh God! <laughs> I think they look. I think they look great. I think we've done an incredible job. The only problem with that in the background here is um. Everything's been going horribly wrong. So we finished Fabrication, which is fantastic. We then failed to defend Crack Home, which has dropped uh, sentiment from legal leads, the legal volunteers down to 73%. <laughs> what I'm saying is we might have to invest in that pretty quickly. Otherwise, we've got a, we've got a side problem on our hands there. So I've created a couple of masterwork furniture, a wardrobe and a chair. Then we had a solar flyer followed up immediately by mechanoids. Oh, they had the decency to land outside the walls, though, to be fair, which is very generous of them. Hello. Well, you know what? That's not too terrible. The problem is there's a lot of long-range mechanoids there, and that's not really what we do here. Um, I mean, Min has a half-decent weapon, and that's immediately countered by Avion's blunderbuss. Legal Lee, we've, we've got to clean up the people. We, we've, we've, got a real, we've got a real problem on our hands here. Crack home has a loyalty of one? War! <laughs> uh, 
well, I can only hold my hands up and say that there has been a mismanagement in this government, and uh, we're going to be reassessing some of that. What do you mean it's my fault? Just vote for me next time. Just vote for me next time. I'll make everything better then. Trust me. Okay, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a happiness building going down, an adult entertainment center, by which I assume they mean uh, like like an arcade, a bowling alley. I don't think there's anything that specifically gives loyalty. I think loyalty comes from, you know, actually defending them, uh, and uh, and and being able to pay your bills on time, which. I'm, I, okay, I admit, I might have fucked up once or twice. Oh, shit, that's all I can do. <laughs> that's all I can do. Well, let's hope that's enough. Then I think in uh, the Hopium Den, we'll throw down some migrant housing, and we'll throw down an adult entertainment center here as well. How much does that leave us with? Barely anything. Bollocks. Well, Methadome. I mean, Methadome's fine. They love us. 2,200 silver in terms of raw profit. Well, let's, well, let's go to Methadome. Let's flip it over. Let's start tithing steel, because I want to put up a big perimeter wall around the... Around the prison specifically, so that they don't start, you know, trying to escape or anything like that. That wouldn't be, that would not be good for business. Oh, that puts us into debt. You, shit, how much do you want to be paid? Good lord. Can we implement, like, lower minimum wage? Does that, does that work? Fine, we'll just have to have 10 workers. I can't afford any more than that. See, now I can see the issue. They're, they're going out here trying to fight the fires to stop our, is it raining and the fires aren't going out? That's a bit of a concern. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a new area and I'm just going to limit them to be inside the walls at all times. Why would you ever want to leave? There we go. That's it. It's, it's illegal to now leave the walls. It's too dangerous out there. I'm putting this up for your own safety. We could put up multiple walls for their own safety as well. Like that, uh, like that, uh, you know, like that anime. Uh, the one where all the people are stuck inside the walls because it's too dangerous outside because there are big murdering things. What is it? Takeshi's Castle. That's it. <sighs> I already know where this is going. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, see, that's not... That's not okay, is it? Oh, shit. They may have grown copious amounts of, uh, legal, perfectly legal, uh, consumables. Uh, they've got no actual regular human consumables. So I've, I've turned the hopium over into rice as a very, very temporary measure, okay? I thought we could go potatoes and corn and manage it, but then obviously I didn't take into account that we've got a shitload of prisoners and an extra colonist now. I mean, honestly, I don't know what the pirates are thinking even trying to raid this base when they know this mighty unit is defending it. I think I'm gonna unrestrict everybody, and I think... Let's go, and, let's go and shoot some animals. You know, besides everything burning down constantly, I think I've worked out why I hate the rainforest. It's taken me the best part of 11 in-game Rimworld days to get enough resources for a mortar. One single mortar. The mortar shells we already had. This one, we haven't got any components. There are some in the walls, but obviously we'd have to, I'd have to stray a bit close to the mechanoids. Let's kill them dead. This is ridiculous. And it doesn't help that everyone's obviously breaking down constantly because of the uh, because of the psychic drone. So I'm hoping they'll come through that way. Uh, I don't know. Judging by different distances, it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? If our people are down here, though, I assume it will encourage them to come this way. And this way has better defenses. So let's go for this. It's not all bad, though. Look at how much the prisoners have done for our industry. Since we've been, you know, uh, freaking out and mining a terrible amounts of components. I don't know what the seeds are used for. I assume we could do something else with that. Um, nothing in here yet, but there is advanced smoke leaf cultivation we've still got to go for next. So we'll worry about that later. So to make a smoke leaf joint times five, we need 20. It's four per thing. Um, oh, yeah. No, I think we're good. Not legally. God, he can't afford to miss here. Well, wow, that was a great shot. What in the... <laughs> Does anyone want to explain that one to me then? There's a possibility she was up here mining components. Uh, how is that quicker? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. We'll trust her. On the plus side, she does have a shield. Never mind. She's dead. Oh, God. Slow it. Don't go, go, go. Run, 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 run. Is she okay? Did she lose a limb there? She is actually fine. Holy crap, both her eyes are sliced open. Oh, poor Slona. And in better news still, Gordon and Jean in our prison have decided to get married. Well, hey, look, the Slona tactic, accidentally fine, because she can at least bait the mechanoids down. While legally, well, I mean, legally still got to blow up their ship a little bit more first, but that should work fine. I mean, I can't complain about that. Oh, you fool. Because they didn't have enough, we didn't have enough steel to build it, and then I kind of forgot about it. Well, never mind. It's only 320 or 420 times times hopium gone. All my hopiums and dreamiums. God damn. I mean, look, he's not hitting the ship, but he's killing everything else around it, so I really can't complain. <laughs> Sloan has just been lying on the floor, bleeding out, screaming, and uh, she's gone thoroughly ignored. That is 
actually incredible. Thank you, Kais. Well, he told me to draft up, so I can't possibly move from this spot. Okay, right, let's just move him in now. Let's move him in. How many are left? One, two, three, four lancers, five lancers, two pikemen. Shit. Well, we haven't got a choice because we're also out of, out of shells because legal lay is a terrible shot. You know what? Range isn't as bad as I thought. I thought they would... Seriously? <sighs> he doesn't have a gun. Trussie can fuck off. Thank you, Trussie. Very cool. Come on. Right, well, let's focus for a little bit. Let me, let me, let me take control here. Kai's just got hit. That was 30 points of damage. Is he okay? Lose a limb. Right big toe gone. No, he's shot in the torso. It's okay. He was just, he was, he was only shot in the torso. He's fine. You know, with all of these ranged record odds, there's one person who would have been perfect for this, and that person just happens to be lying in the dirt. Well, it wasn't perfect, but we only took some damage to Kaius and Min. How's Dong doing? We have six hours. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Come on, Dong. Okay, we're gonna heal to, we're gonna heal up Dong next. Um, we can't heal up Dong because we're outside of an allowed area, which is horrible. This is gonna be close. My God. Shot off fresh. What the hell did he lose? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Caius, did you lose anything? Oh, come on. Not Min, too. What did she lose? Left leg. Right leg. Brilliant. Brilliant. But on the plus side, we dealt with it. That no, no deaths. Okay. Legs are, legs are, legs are temporary. Life is forever. Unless you're this psychic ship. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well then, team. Honestly, I can't complain. To say that we were... We've still got Yeo's combat, just to, just to clarify. We've still got Yeo's combat, which means armor penetration is actually really, really important. Uh, the best weapon we've got for that is Fat Larry's Fat Rifle. Uh, everything else is... I mean, fucking Avion's using a blunderbuss, for God's sake. Axis build and a faction level up. Oh, wow, look at this. Okay, so we've got our... Uh, some steel in there. Oh, that, that would be from the... the Last taxes that were delivered. Obviously, new ones were just built. So it's going to be another five days or so. Uh, Legal these volunteers leveled up to level two. What a time to be alive. Our new trait, we can go for raiders. Value of loot when raiding. Uh, probably not relevant. I think we need to go for defense in depth, given that our people are on, I mean, 62% loyalty. Not really ideal, is it? Industrious. Oh, no, industrious is good, though. Road builders is also fantastic. Uh, mercantile would also be incredibly good, because then we can sell the drugs without even leaving our base. Ah! I'm going to take mercantile. Look, here's, here's my reasoning. Mercantile allows us to sell the stuff that we, that the prisoners have so carefully prepared for us. We sell that. We use that to buy steel resources. Then we can just use that to set up a new settlement to defend our other people with over, you know, just getting plus two military level. How are we doing? 182. Well, let's start actually making some, uh, making some sellable product then. You're just, you're just eating that? I, I don't think that's... Yeah, what are you doing? That doesn't seem right. Binging on smoke leaf. So not only have they got their mental break, but then they're eating raw smoke leaf. And then they're gaining catharsis, which is basically undone. Wow, that sucks. Okay. We've got to be careful leaving that stuff around then. Jaffo's having the fucking time. It's like, Jaffo, get out of there for God's sake. <laughs> Poor Sloaner is still left out in the rain. It's okay, Sloaner. It's okay. Fat Larry's on it. I feel like I'm going to give them just a complete day off here because this is, uh, this is a bit of a nightmare. Next step... Actual bionics, I think. We, we can pretty much... I mean, we can pretty much focus on only that. I know I want to redo this so it's all a workroom and obviously get them moved down into here, but they can still live here fine and actually really comfortably for the time being. So bionics come next. Do we do we actually finish the research on that? Because I kept changing the research around based on what we need, like, kind of at the point. No, we didn't. Okay, let's get that cracked out next. Well, you know, life goes on. Just not for Errolis and Addison. <laughs> <laughs> this is what... Th this is the dream right now. All we need now is, is is Fat Larry in there with a gun making them work. It's also a little bit too luxurious, isn't it? It's really nice, high security fence wrapped in barbed wire. I want it to be a bit more rustic. Uh, so we've got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six bedrooms over here. Now, I was like I said, I was going to split people up over to different areas. But these are already way nicer because they're, they're, they have their own dedicated bedrooms. So let's make sure they've actually got some running water because for some reason, people need water. Finally, an enemy worthy of Slona. Giant tortoises. For fuck's sake, come on. Another day, another rainforest fire. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm doing with all this steel now. I'm, I'm gonna concrete over the whole fucking thing. I said it as a joke. No, no, I'm done. I'm concreting over the whole thing. Ooh, hmm. It's a little expensive, but we'll get there eventually. Million silver in our stockpile, and not a million silver wealth. That's, that's, that's definitely a bit of confusion about where we're, you know, where we're going with this series. It's not a million silver just in wealth, because any anybody can do that. We could do that just by sitting and waiting, basically waiting for Empire to send us our stuff. It's a million silver 
in the stockpile. We can't tithe silver. The only way we're getting silver is by selling our cold, hardened, well, absolute massive stack of drugs at this point. Actually, haven't checked for a few days, but how are we doing on the 185,000? So if we were only going for just colony wealth, we'd already be like a fifth of the way there. And that just doesn't seem right. When we build Legal Lee's Palace, which obviously we're doing this series, we're going to give him a vault. And in that vault will be all the silver. Careful, Solana. Careful. N no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that would go down in legend if Slona. Oh, come on. Slona was knocked down by a big tortoise. Well, this should, in theory, be the easiest fucking raid possible. How did that happen? Oh, good news. We can get Barnet replacements now. Bad news. We've also got a friggin' volcanic winter. Good lord. How How is everybody doing? Is there anybody? Oh. Okay, so we need a leg for Lee. We need a lung and a kidney for Larry. And another leg for Larry. And another arm for Larry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, we need a foot and a toe for Caius on different legs, obviously. That'd be a bit weird if he had a missing toe on a foot that's already missing. Slona needs two new eyes because both of us have cut scars on them. Anyway, I think my point is well illustrated. I'm not going to go through the novel that's wrong with uh, just about everybody here. So I've moved all of them down into in, into the kind of new apartment block there. Um, I'm going to concrete over... A, just a lot of stuff because I hate this jungle. We can actually put down a fabrication bench here too, which is quite a nice change. Do we want a drug slab in here? Um, uh, to be honest, it probably wouldn't hurt. They can connect up to... Like, we've got the three... Uh, uh, sorry, both of the workbenches. So the, the, the tool rack and the two drugs cabinets there to make it work effectively. I'm sure the prisoners can do something with it. Wait! Fat Larry can't keep up. Stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> we've got everything we need for a fabrication bench besides components, which is um, nice and ironic. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, I think we really need all these leathers and cloth. They can't afford it, so I'm going to buy Nutramine and Chem Fuel, so that way we can at least make some more shells. Yeah, we're selling uh, we're sell selling too many endangered animal hides by the looks of it. Um, here, just take the... Don't bother about the elephant leather. You just take my, my panther fur and my rhino leather instead. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll, we'll call it even. But again, the 8th Infantry Division. I don't think we fought those guys before. We've got like a, like a, like a, like a militia. Like some sort of private military. Uh, you know, I think I'm all right. Poor guys just can't catch a break, can they? <laughs> What's left of them anyway can't catch a break? Oh, no. I'm a fool. We don't have advanced fabrication. Hold on, I can at least queue up peg legs for everybody. <laughs> Maybe we were the pirate faction all along. Five peg legs I've had to install there. Brilliant. Oh, fuck off. Come on, there's barely anything left. Where have they landed? Up here. Uh, yeah, that's just, that's just straight up. A World War II... What the hell? Plus their clothes are <laughs> made of hemp. Because why wouldn't they be at this stage? No pressure legally, but this needs to hit. Okay, then. Never mind. Sorry, man. Quick question. Uh, I, I kind of noticed you seem to have swapped out your modern day sniper for a fucking crossbow. I hate these people. I hate them. <laughs> they're all they're all terrible. Right, give me that fucking HMG. Give me that chain shotgun. Oh, that's why chicken doesn't have a gun. Right, okay, fair enough. You're, you're, I'll, I'll let you off. An incendiary shell. And he fucking whiffed it again legally. Okay, that'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it. Okay, well, we've stopped them firing at us. And more importantly, we've claimed two of their mortars too. White beeswax and heavy wax mortar. Why is everything either wax or hemp? Then again, I guess that is the point of the series. Here they come. Get him. Kill him dead. Slona. Slona's just kind of there. Uh, to be honest, Slona doesn't really have to worry about it because they're... They, they've got, like, World War II guns, right? Old-fashioned rifle. So they're not going to get through Slona's... Slona's shield. Actually, Slona. Kill them all. Kill them all, Slona. Knock them. Knock them. Yes, take their legs off. That's a good idea, Slona. Get me some prisoners. I think they just... Oh, no, that's fine. They, they shot that man and then it popped the other person who was actually alive over. How are you doing? Artistic. I mean, there's a... There's... Uh, 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 something we can do with you as a prisoner. Not really the plants and drugs I'm looking for still, but that's okay. Slice them up. Slice them up, Slona. Come on. Send them. Fuck sake. No, I, I don't send... Like, send them to the prison, not to hell. Unbelievable. <laughs> no! It's fucking crafting all along? Do general low-skilled labor work at stations. For example, roll like Willie Nelson. Brilliant. Okay, well... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Larry. What would your armor? <laughs> 
please. Give me all the advanced components. Give me the medicine. I need anything at this point. Bionic arms, drill arms, circadian influence, bionic sign. Give me the lot. Give me everything. You, you, you kids like drugs? I've, I've got... What's the schematics cabinet? Hello. Come on, let's do a high-tech research bench and tinkering bench. Oh. I had no idea that was a thing. These people do not buy the things I have for sale. Well, that's very upsetting. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Well, look, look, look. Let's, let's get this. Let's absolutely go for that. Let's say, don't worry about the drill arm. There's barely anything to drill in this colony, with the exception of Fat Larry. The bionic spine is good, because we can put it in people, but again, it doesn't have the bonuses that people's spine would have, because it's a spine for animals, even. Um, tech prints. Now, I bought another one, but I'm not sure if we do need two tech prints for the jump pack. I'd rather not risk it. So we'll just go with that for the time being, and that way we can at least give somebody an arm. We've got the circadian assistant. We've got the advanced components. That way we can help kind of rebuild... Rebuild our people, like, real fast. Chicken is my first port of call. What a weird sentence. <laughs> chicken is my first port of call, because chicken's our builder. And chicken, chicken don't got no arms. It's got wings, silly. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Everything's on fire. Why does no one want to buy my drugs? <laughs> no. How can I not? Okay, this is a problem. I can't afford all these things. Right, we don't need the components. Do we? Yeah, we do need the components. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, we don't need the guts of medicine. Get rid of that. Hmm. Oh, God. What do I do? Buy 220 plasteel. We can always tie that again. Who's missing an eye? Oh, <laughs> everybody. Everybody's missing an eye. <laughs> oh, man. Word of Fat Larry's charm has reached purple and they've asked you to for Fat Arabella. I can't even fucking say it. <laughs> they've asked you for Fat Larry's hand in marriage. Accepting this marriage proposal will cement relations with the faction, but Fat Larry will leave and join the Kuro Covenant. Purple, you can go fuck yourself because you're not fucking Fat Larry. <laughs> I, I see it, you know? I really, I really, I really do see it. Oh, that's a fantastic star. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. We finished advanced fabrication. <laughs> Bad news. Our settlement was crushed. That's okay. I'm sure they'll go into open rebellion. We, they, might, they might as well just do it now. Just get it out of the way so that we can rebuild. So I'm going to give everybody Omni Spectrum goggles and exoskeleton frames. We haven't got... Well, we haven't got anything else. Um, so there's no reason not to do it, I guess. Say 25 components and 10 advanced components too. Then we'll start making bionics. I'm gonna have to make a, a big long list of what people actually need. Are these any upgrade at all? 125%. So yeah, if we manage to get both arms replaced, that'd be pretty massive. So I'll go through and write a big list of everything we need now. Okay. Well, that was um, more than I was expecting, I'll be honest. We need a total of a nose, a kidney, three eyes, four ears, five lungs, six arms, and six legs. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are we doing with our settlements then? So, right now, uh, now, now the Hopium Dem is the one that's really far away, correct? So we might as well have that tithing taxes more than anything else. Um, you've got an adult entertainment center both there and Crack Home. Crack Home is like really pissed off with us. Um, Methodome isn't doing too well either. So if we could build another adult entertainment center here, we haven't got the silver for it. Okay, forget I said anything. Ideally, we want to tithe silver. Oh, not, not silver, but, well, no, actually silver, but gold, plasteel, and steel all separately. Make our components ourselves rather than obviously tie them in. We will need uranium eventually, too. Shit. Okay, go on then. So let's start with the, uh, I think the legs are arguably the most useful. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six legs, and then the arms. So we need six arms. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've got a bionics here to make, like, three extra people. Three eyes, four ears. Now, it occurred to me that obviously we can't make, um... Lungs, kidneys, anything like that. Uh, nose is what? That's the um, the gastronomic analyzer, I think it's called, or something ridiculous like that. So that's what we can make for the time being. But I think that, to be honest, is is quite a lot. I think we'll duck those under there too. These are a little bit more important, I'd argue. That's Dong, right, working on that. Now, there is a slight problem with that. Uh, and that's that Dong, I believe, is missing an arm. <sighs> yep, isn't he just? <laughs> oh, come on. Who bit him on the eye? It just occurred to me that says human teeth. Now, this is going to be our character's drug lab. Obviously, we've got the drug lab there in the prison, which is going fine. Sona's apparently working in there, which is uh, very illegal. I don't know why she's doing that. Hey, stop that right now. Don't mingle with the prisoners. 
I was going to build a drug lab, drug lab for our people in here. I, I figured we might as well also throw down some sort of operating table too, seeing as we've got a lot of operations to do. Good luck, little dong. Good luck. There's the architect I installed. Okay. Oh. What the fuck? Oh my god. Trozzy, uh, I mean, is this appropriate? <laughs> to be honest, kind of kind of my fault there. All right, let's go ahead and move those out somewhere. Well, there's a peg leg. Again, it's not perfect, but we need him just to be able to do work at this point, to be honest with you. And then finally, Barnak arm. Nice. Thank you, Kais. I was really worried he was going to fuck that up because that would have really killed us there. What is this? Dreamstick and Skag. You need Zop? How the hell do we make Zop? Uh, Zop is with Dream... Oh, Zop as in like... As in like Zopium. That's that's good. Right, so make Zop. Do forever. And then let's go and make uh, regular old Zop forever as well. Just in case there's like three left in the stockpile. Do you want to make Skag? Or do we want to make Dream Sticks? Um, that requires Neutramine and Herbal Medicine. Which is a little expensive. How much are they worth though in terms of... Uh, we've got to think of profits here, right? 20 each. Holy crap, that's quite a lot. And then the Skag is worth... 35 each. Wait, the skag is better. That uses 12 zope. That uses 8. Okay, so it's a more it's, it's a more concentrated variant, but doesn't require the nutrient in the herbal medicine. Sure. I'm a skag dealer now. <laughs> Sounds wrong. Little Gordon can do it. What's his drug skill? Uh medic Oh, intellectual 4.87. Is that all you need? 16. That's making the times times 4, right, for the zope. Oh, shit. Wowee. I'm actually kind of surprised they can do it, to be honest with you. Skill is intellectual, but there isn't a skill limit to it. What about the skag? That might be a different kettle of fish. Uh, no, there is no intellectual limit on that one either by the looks of it. Wow. That's massive. That's actually really, really good. Is Dong saying he's got nothing to do? What the hell are you talking about? Like, there's a job for you right there, pal. Ooh. Why? Three degrees. Oh, it's where people are going in and out. They're letting all the... Bloody, hey, stop that. Oh, perfect timing. Why, yes, I did need more people for my now up and running hopioid production. The riding a gorilla into battle. Pablo, pack your things. 25, are you using gold rocks? Topaz rocks, I'm not sure that's any better. So we are looking for characters specifically with crafting technical intellectual still because regular drugs. So like this person, for example, Kambaro would be, would be perfect or barman. Uh, good crafting. Hey, I'm liking this. Good crafting again. Good crafting again. No, good plants. These are, these are perfect. I don't think it really matters who we capture out of this this lot. I mean, they're all so good. Let's see how fast we can get over here. Are they attacking immediately? Because if they are, obviously this fucking draft up. This uh, this first defense isn't really going to work very well, is it? Are we going through the wall? No, don't do that. Okay, okay. Uh, pull back slightly. Where are they going through? Snails, snails leading the charge here to dig through. <gasps> Joris. Joris, what the hell? Uh, inside the walls. I, I think Joris might just need tending after we're done here, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Horrible. That was horrible to see. Six hours. Is he fine? He's okay. He'll be okay. Don't, don't panic. Fat Larry, I appreciate that you, uh, that you're ready to kill. Let's get you back there slightly. Okay. Okay. Uh, who do I not want here fighting? Avion. Avion, do me a favor. Fuck off. No, get your blunderbuss out. <laughs> I immediately defaulted to the fucking flamethrower. <laughs> no, you can stay. You can stay. You can stay. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Got him. No, you need to knock them down so that we can capture them. No, you need to knock them down so that we can capture them. Holy crap, the gorilla. The gorilla. The gorilla's down. Okay. Oh, there's two. There's two. There's donkey. There's red. Holy crap. This is going to be a bit of a mess. Caius is down. Is Kaius okay? 10 hours. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't panic. The fling. We got a lot of people out of that, though. Sloan is also down. 9 hours. 10 hours. That's fine. Don deal with that. Um, you rescue Sloaner. Trimble Mink, you rescue Kaius. Min can't capture anyone on account of her not having arms. I don't know why I drafted her up for battle in hindsight. Yeah, she threw a thing on the floor. <laughs> oh, you shot Joris on the way out. Larry. Fucking Larry, get him. Fucking Larry, kill. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah, we're okay. Do we lose any more limbs? Do I need to add anything else to my list? No, luckily enough. Well, it was a little dangerous. Burn from a flamethrower? 
You know what? Don't ask. <laughs> Sometimes it's just better not to know. Hey, there we go. Two hundred thousand mark has been crossed. So what I'll do is I'll let Dong crack out a bunch of bionics, a bunch of limbs. Obviously, he has to make a load of advanced components and regular components. You have to wait for the resource to come in too. So I'll do as much as I can just to try and get our people quite literally back up on their feet. Because that's something that's really set us back for a long, 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 long time here. When that's sorted, we can we can really start. Getting those caravans out into the world. Fat Larry can get out there peddling. We might start looking into maybe hiring some mercenaries with the uh, with the mercenaries for me mod. Something I haven't... I, I've had in a couple of mod packs, but never found the need to use. But of course, if we're going to aim for a million tangible silver sitting around in Legal Lee's diamond house, probably going to need probably gonna need some help with that, to be honest, without putting our people on the front line. The other thing as well is, of course, we sh probably should start tithing. Uh probably should start tithing some of some of the more precious gems to actually build legal lee's house oh drop pods would be pretty good why the hell have i not got drop pods yet uh drop drop pods what are they called drop pods they're not called that are they they're called transport pods let's go and research those got a lot on our plate but when we get both digital storage and transport pods holy shit holy shit our drugs will go far and wide my friends thank you all for watching we're gonna leave it there tomorrow tomorrow i'm hoping we can really come out swinging because the past couple of episodes have basically been licking our wounds ever since that mechanoid raid got the base rebuilt got the people rebuilt or we've you know made a good headway into getting our people rebuilt now the drugs can flow thank you my friends let's give a shout out to the patrons for giving me the chance to produce such horrifying content in the first place i thank you to lilac steak and bacon akins red noah ethox chaos and dying chicken i am sagatair commissar taj jack black sheep plumby Dante, Mordekane, Lupus, Bare Minimum, Chihuahua, Felpi, Levi, and Zaka as well. If you have joined the Patreon over the past kind of week, I still have not had chance to update the list yet. Kenshi has been absolutely killing me in terms of my free time. Like, I, I've not had any free time. Um, when I say that, I mean that very literally in that I wake up, I record, uh, I edit, and then I go back to sleep. And it's been like that for the past week. I have not had a minute to get those done. I'm going to have some news on that coming up in the next couple of days over on Patreon. Um, something that will make that a lot more streamlined, if not a lot more costly for me, as you'll see when that is uh, when that is available over on Patreon very, very soon. So bear with me on that one. Thank you as well to you, Proximity Jones, Lilac, Stalker Pepe, Huneman, Lanigan, Flux Marsh, KG Evans, Lady Cerulean, Salakin J, Bolplop, Alex Schultz, Struck Iron, Thanks for the Lone Bojo, Spongy Bomb Monster, Spurt One, Dragon Ryan 13, Mark and Taters Angus. 